Okay, so what we're doing here is making some homemade fuel tabs for the uh, folding soap. A lot of you guys have asked, how do you make this? So what we're looking at here, so I've got a pot, a clean can. As you can see, the water is boiling in it. You probably can't see it, but there's a chunk of wax in there. I use household paraffin wax. I bought this at a uh, hobby store. Wax is going to melt. Here we have regular saran wrap paper. Or you can use aluminum foil, which I prefer. And a cotton ball. I've got three small ones and a large one that I'm going to prepare. Once again, we're looking down at the melted wax. You have to let the wax melt completely. And we're at that stage. Okay, so I'm going to grab a piece of cotton, drop it down in there, and get it all full of wax. I want to saturate it. Some people like to use Vaseline, but I find up here in the cold weather, the Vaseline will harden up, and about a year later it won't light. Alright, so now I've got a cotton ball full of paraffin wax. I'm going to transfer it over here. Grab another cotton ball. Now you can take these cotton balls and rip them into smaller pieces. See, there it is in there. We can get some light in there. It doesn't take a lot of wax. But I've used these at 40 below zero and not had a problem. You can use aluminum foil as well, but, but I kind of like using the uh, saran wrap because I can burn the whole thing. I'm going to add some more uh, paraffin here. Drop it right down in there. Get rid of that cord. And while that is working, I'm going to wrap up the little tinder tabs. It's a little messy. You're going to get wax everywhere, but I'm sure you're big enough to know how to figure that out. So here's a smaller one. Basically what I've done was take a uh, cotton ball and roll it between my palms until I have this. These are good for probably 15 or 20 minutes. They're uh, heating up inside of a tent or getting some light. It'll even boil some water. Alright, so now we're going to take the little cotton ball, drop it in here, let it saturate, move around a little bit. Perfect. And there's the finished product. And all you have to do, I'm trying to do this one-handed by the way, is roll it up. The wax acts as a glue. You don't have to worry about taping it. And you don't want to put plastic under it anyway because uh, the smoke is kind of noxious and I wouldn't want that in my smoke and breathing it or below my food. All right, let's turn this heat off. For the last one. drain out a little bit. Folks, I've used this when it's cold outside, and I mean ditch diggers ass cold, and I've used it in the summertime inside of my tent, a nylon Cabela's tent, and it heated it up. I've used it to start a fire, and uh, this is uh, perfect. I mean, you can buy some commercial versions, but to me, why spend five bucks when I can make my own? So that's it. We have the large one right here. We've got to let it dry first. Still kind of semi-liquid inside. This is an even larger one. This is the one that has two in it. This is the smaller version. Let it dry. Put it in your bug out bag. And uh, right there you've got 
probably a little over an hour's worth of heat light. Good deal. See ya. Thank you.